Hello lovely bubblies, welcome back to our channel, you're here with me Sarit and Stevie K. Okay today guys we're watching why boyfriends always lose arguments. A gosh thing, stand up comedy guys, I haven't heard or seen any of these videos before but someone suggested it when we done uh, the recent one uh, of Akash Gupta's, um, I said check out Akash Singh, I believe he's from America, is that right? Uh, fellas, this is a key reason why boyfriends always lose that uh, argument. But yeah, on Akash Gupta's, you know the one where you was talking and you had so, we had so many messages because you were talking about bobs and two big things and people, <laughs> have you, have you not seen? seen? When did that go uh, So we're when getting, that, a, that went up, uh, was it two days ago? You didn't tell me, what did people well, say? What? Well, the, the, obviously there's people like saying stuff like, yeah, you know what kind of, Baskwits are coming <laughs> and and so very supportive and then there was like others who were really? like it, a part of the job how, how do you know that the two big things are not talking about Steve's what you call it down there but because you don't you really know. but uh, I, I mean I could show them but the, the channel will be like shut but yeah you need to look at them, oh, we'll look and, at them and then the other people said well it's amazing you, you said all that but we didn't get to see the two big things this time so <laughs> so stuff like that anyway um, boys yeah. will be boys. Chocolate, guys, chocolate honestly, and, yeah. and and the other thing we were gonna say was, guys, honestly, this sweet dress. People think that sweet dress is like this just for it's YouTube. So it isn't. It's sweet has to obviously dress when she's like got those gorti and stuff like that. That's due to winter. But when she's got, if you got anything of her, seen it in a t-shirt and things like that. She's actually doing it because at those times when she's like thinking, you know what, piss everyone. Because no, uh, normally this is how she dresses yeah, day I, in, day I out. I actually got through a state where obviously I, I was myself dressing the way I used to when we started off YouTube. And then I was with all the disgusting comments that you get and how it started to be, how it affected me. I, you see, I started to wear jumpers quite often and it just wasn't me. And I wasn't interested anymore. I was like, I don't even want to do this job anymore. Yeah, because she wasn't herself. Myself. And she wasn't dressing like herself. She was like burying my stuff to wear them. And, but you should, now she's just like, going, I'm going to wear what I want, F the way that I want it. Anyway, not uh, everyone. Uh, no, sorry, not to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why why do boyfriends lose always lose arguments? Because they're pathetic. And See, it doesn't say why men lose arguments. Because boyfriends say obviously shows that has to be in a relationship to lose the argument. Wrong because they make big deals out of nothing normally. Even husbands as well. No, no, it just said boyfriends. Well, I'm surprised boyfriends like they don't want to do that at that time because they just want to put a ring on a finger. Then they'll do those kind of things. Before oh. that, they don't do anything like that to have arguments. Oh okay, yeah, you nice avoid guy. them. You avoid them, don't you? Yeah, that's what you did. <laughs> I try to avoid them now. It's just that no, today no, 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 it's no. difficult to no. avoid. No, it's not. It's like before you can run off home and then just like, you know, no, <laughs> but now not. you can't. I mean, you anyway. Should... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you gotta, you gotta learn Love where you can. I, I'm learning how to fight with my girl. Now it's the best. I used to be scared every time my girl fought. This is what, I'm not even lying. This is me being very vulnerable. This is what made me hesitate to get engaged. Because every time my girl would get upset, I would like melt down. It's embarrassing, but I would, I would honestly be like, oh my God, my baby's mad, what do I do? <laughs> it's disgusting, but it's true. <laughs> now my girl gets upset and I'm just like, this bitch always mad. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Stop what I'm doing every time she upset? Nobody got that kind of time. <laughs> you is always fine, dude. Just keep watching the game. We're okay. Because <laughs> no I didn't realize, man, it's a different levels, right? Like men emotionally, two levels: happy, mad. Ninety-nine percent of the time, happy. We're just running around like yeah. like puppies. Yeah. Who's listen? Just trotting around in packs. I want to see them, men. Wrestling our friends, barking at bitches. Same. <laughs> Same exact thing. One percent criminal rage, mm -hmm. pure fury like you've never 1%. seen before. <laughs> what? Women got a whole in between level, no, no, and I heard it a million around. times. Will you just, just listen? Heard this? Talk a bit. I'm just upset. <laughs> My girl used to say that to me, and I'd be like, "Somebody get this bitch a thesaurus. This is <laughs> embarrassing. She only like, holds words to me. Stupid ass girl." <laughs> Turns out it is a whole different thing. Happy is here, mad is here, upset is right here. Just <laughs> 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 Women get upset every hour. They don't mean anything. 
Because <laughs> I'm not the you're you come only. one who's actually upset all the We time. never go out. Okay. Your balls smell. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Every hour is something. <laughs> you cheated on me. <laughs> In a dream. <laughs> yeah, she's had that. She's had that, and she's been like, you know. And the mistake we make as fellas is we are taught our whole lives, suck it up. Stop being a bitch. No one wants to see you complain. So we take all these. Yeah, okay. We're just like, oh, I'll be home at night. Oh, let's go to dinner. Oh, okay, I'll shower again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Well, you want me to be quiet? Well, you don't realize, fellas, it builds. The fury builds. And then eventually, after like a hundred of these, you're like, yo, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Why are you always yelling at me? I told you not to take melatonin. <laughs> Them dreams are your fault. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where you lose every argument, fellas. Oh, yeah. Because the second you take it here, mm -hmm. She forgets everything she did here. <laughs> Excuse me. Right? And now the conversation flips and it becomes... <sighs> I just don't know who you are sometimes. <laughs> that came from okay. I guess I feel like I'm walking on eggshells around you <laughs> and you already went crazy fellas you can't go back there you didn't like it she didn't like it so now externally you got to be like no oh, yeah baby you're right oh uh, uh, yeah I'll work on my temper I'm sorry oh, blah, blah, blah. you deserve better <laughs> but internally you're going crazier than ever you're just like, you, you're walking on eggshells. <laughs> Is that how you feel? Remember when really? I asked if you were hungry and you thought I was quiet. calling you fat? That's eggshells. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Need a map, bitch? <laughs> I'll show you exactly where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you fellas, you gotta learn to deal with upset. Oh, um, I'm glad you finished. <laughs> why? Because I, I, I did like felt like uh, you know it, it was just going to be a murder about to happen the, the longer he was going to go. Dance floor. Yeah, huh? I was thinking of a song murder on the dance floor. Okay. Yeah, basically, Sri wasn't let me. Listen. She disagreed with everything he said. I do. Basically, men are the problem. They are. That's the only reason why they lose arguments 100%. because women do everything right. 100%. Men do everything wrong. It's because men just don't like to listen. They are like the biggest babies on this planet. They just don't ever grow up. And I have one right here. Like I can here's, here's one I made earlier. I can explain to him a million times to do something. Just like simple little things. And he purposely does them over and over. Which causes arguments. You let him off and you think okay. But he'll do them and do them and do them repeatedly and then obviously there's going to be arguments and then it's like then there's always dumb excuses that you have <gasps> and you go, oh you know what was the last one i'm sorry god didn't give um give me all the talents to do da, 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 whatever it is i'm like jesus it's just a simple who, who needs a talent to wash a dish or put the toilet seat down or just clean up after themselves just dumb stuff like that like why do you and he's listening i switched off <laughs> maybe that's why i don't listen half the time it's like the whole thing is yeah, like, so it's like it's, it's yeah, like i believe it's like reading like, the terms and conditions no. of uh, like you know um, over the 25 years i've thing. summed it up men just like to be told off because it reminds them of being children like mommy being there around you know they need a little slap and then they get going and they behave good Ooh, and then they need kinky. it again exactly in that sense that's what it is because that's what he really wants Ooh. So he likes to be told off, and I think that's what men do. We want something in that sense, we'll just say, we want it. You guys do it the weirdest way. Get yourself in trouble over something so stupid because you've got all your, I don't know, hormones, all like, I don't know, like, going all over the place. People in here come here for, like, a therapy session or something, you know what I mean? Where you go in on about men and all that kind of stuff. And the 1%, I don't even know who made that up, that's bullshit. The 1% of a man getting mad, I don't think so. In this household, 
the Gwandi, the Gwandi, the Gwandi. They can all probably hear him. He's that loud. There's no 1%. It's probably the opposite way around. I probably got the 1%. Are you all believing this? <laughs> I'm just, saying. just because, you know what? You're very cool and calm and you like to do it for the cameras. You know oh, okay. you're the opposite. Oh, I'm fiery. I'll say it as it is. Yeah, defend, <laughs> defend myself. I'm quite open and honest. I'm not one of those who's going to sit back We watch the stand-up comedy, guys. A stand-up comedy. I'm a really good person. And, and someone and got I'm triggered. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. Quiet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend what you do. Because you are the loudest in this house. Okay. Oh, we didn't know. Guys, that was a reaction to a stand-up comedy. I'm trying to get out of it. You're trying to go for already. It's like a 20 minute, 50. Your, what you call it, whole lecture was longer than the stand-up comedy that we watched. You took it personal, where he was talking about. I'm going to take it personal. Because it's nonsense. Okay, guys, it's called joking, it's laughing, joking. and having fun. But what if us women, we, we joked and laughed about how men are? Is really? that, maybe that's the problem you like don't Bloody men. Yeah. anyway guys that was the video that was reaction let us know in the comments below what did you guys think or have you all just gone and committed suicide just write down before it's you commit suicide anyway. I mean we really um, don't have time to watch reactions especially these ones like come on see you we next got better one, things to do in life see you next one guys bye bye